Tonight, a new twist in the unemployment fraud issues we've covered for years. The state of Illinois knowingly putting your taxpayer dollars into scammers' accounts by not following the money. They're making fraudsters richer and leaving thousands without the benefits they're owed. Our Tara Molina, working for Chicago since the very beginning, has a story. How much money are you owed right now? $6,400. $5,472. Meet Sharon Thomas and Mike Cosmas, a former retail worker and former school bus driver, out nearly $12,000 just between the two of them. Scammers redirected every dime to other accounts, money they needed after losing their jobs during the pandemic, money the Illinois Department of Employment Security didn't track then. Started um, almost a year ago. Or uh, now. My savings are drained. I have no savings. Because of the state's inaction, they're both struggling. I just want my money. I just want what's owed to me. Mike's saga started last March. So when I was supposed to get the money in the bank, it wasn't there. That's when he found his unemployment account hacked, his benefits going into an account that wasn't his. But flagging the issue with the state, no easy task. He followed the IDS rep's instructions. But nothing, okay? Nothing. No money in his account, but it did go somewhere, and the state knew it. So IDS knew at this point that scammers had access to your account and had changed your information, but they kept on paying out the claim. Yes. So they were knowingly putting money in these fraudsters' accounts. Exactly. What does that say to you? That definitely was mismanaged totally, okay. Uh, they're, they're not competent. Sharon thought IDES had fixed her issue four months after she reported the hack, promising her money back, but... The check was released to the fraudster? Yes. Eventually, dozens more calls, in-person visits, and months later, both of them got one of these. It's called a payment tracer, and it's a form meant to help IDES investigate claims like theirs about unemployment money someone is owed but never received. Basically, all I had to do was sign a piece of paper. They filled out the forms, did everything the state asked of them. Still no money. I've been stressed out. I've been have, losing sleep. I mean, why should you have to wait a year to get something that belongs to you? Inside sources tell CBS2 the agency is failing when it comes to tracking down and recovering stolen benefits. That didn't surprise Sharon. She says this was her exchange with an IDES employee. She found um, where they had just been sitting idle and they didn't move forward to um, like the next step that they should have been in. They were just sitting in the system? Mm -hmm. With nobody doing anything. So how often does this happen? We dug into that, but the state would only let us dig so far. According to IDES, claimants submitted 3,821 payment tracers from March 2021 through November. That's 3,821 times laid off workers needed to know where their money went. As of November 2021, the latest data we have, IDES paid out on just 958 of them, less than a third. Why are these forms so important? Sources say many of them were completed due to fraudulent activity. And pre-pandemic, IDES says they would only get about four of those tracers a year. And those dollars aren't just what people like Mike and Sharon deserve. They're also a sign of how much money scammers might have pocketed. But IDES refused to give the forms to us, saying it would be unduly burdensome to review and redact all the records. We checked them on that. Enter Attorney and Freedom of Information Act expert. Well, my first reaction was it's simply wrong. Uh, I, I don't think there's any significant burden. Matt Topic. So whenever public officials hide information like this, we should be asking ourselves, why are they hiding this? Why won't they just turn it over? What do they have to hide? He's not the only one asking, and we're not the only ones not getting answers. Easy, but... Even state lawmakers can't get this information from IDES, a state agency. The agency is not functioning properly at all. State so rep Martin to McLaughlin to told me his office like has been inundated with unemployment-related complaints from constituents. But it's fraud that really stands out because taxpayer money doesn't just get lost. We can't get basic answers on where the money has gone, how much fraud there has been. Here he is last month at a hearing trying to get to the bottom of it. Quick question. I know last year um, we talked about IDES in the spring. We had some questions about 
um, the amount of fraud that was taking place. Uh, what is the estimate? No answer going. from IDES uh, acting director Kristen Richards. Uh, so I do not have members of numbers for the members of the committee at this point in time. Everyone elected to represent you and your money is in the dark. The federal government, the Department of Labor, has an estimate of 400 and. 29 million may have been lost. Frankly, I want to know where we are so we can correct the problem. A correction that can't come soon enough for these two and potentially thousands of others like them, stuck in what's felt like an endless cycle with IDES, a system they say is failing the people it's supposed to serve. How can they get away with it? How can they get away with this? We sent the state a detailed list of questions related to fraud and its handling of these payment tracer issues. A spokesperson chose not to address specifics, instead claiming they can't talk about their anti-fraud practices. For CBS2, working for Chicago, I'm Tara Molina. And tonight, Illinois still can't put a number on the total number of amount lost to unemployment fraud, even though other states like Michigan, Arizona, and California have. To dive deeper, Head to our website, cbschicago.com slash working for Chicago for IDES's full statement, extended interviews and more.